Tomorrow, we know everybody is mad at Janet Jackson, but what does her brother Jermaine Jackson have to say? He'll tell us in an exclusive interview. More people are watching The Early Show. On the CBS Evening News, teaching young doctors about seniors who better than seniors themselves. Eye on America looks at a new program for mentoring tomorrow. Best way to clean teeth? The dentist. What do thousands use? Same thing Arm & Hammer Complete Care does. Dental baking soda. Deep clean stains regular toothpaste can't reach. Cleans, whitens, freshens. Try new Complete Care. Your whole mouth will feel fresh from the dentist clean. I'm a big loser with big news about the Slim Fast plan. If you're watching carbs, now there's choices like chocolate peanut butter bars. Baby, your mouth is going to go low-carb crazy while you lose weight. Come on, if I can be a big loser, there's nothing stopping you. cholesterol, diet and exercise aren't always enough. But adding Lipitor can help lower your total cholesterol 29 to 45 percent. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a serious side effect. So take the next step. Ask your doctor if Lipitor is right for you. See why CBS Thursday is the best night of television. A chilling murder Thanks. leads to a bloodthirsty killer. Good evidence of vampires for you. A new CSI. Then a bounty hunter goes missing. Now this agent not only has to find her, but prove her innocence. Do you think your daughter is involved in any criminal activity? A new without a trace after CSI Thursday. Dave's got Super Bowl winning coach Bill Belichick in a John Edwards top 10 tonight. What you gonna do with their hair today? Wear it up. Mm, down. Spike it. People who love their pets this much don't shop in a supermarket. Supermarkets are for people. Petco is for pets. Petco, where the pets go. Grr. Very grr. These days, people just aren't satisfied with ordinary. And neither are we. Introducing Wendy's new Peppercorn Caesar Chicken, a delicious peppercorn Caesar sauce. Seasoned with Parmesan, pepper, and garlic, plus an exciting natural Caesar Jack cheese on Wendy's new, even tastier, tender, juicy, whole chicken breast filet. Wendy's Peppercorn Caesar Chicken, an extraordinary new sandwich you've just got to try. It's better here. And remember, you can eat great even late. Recipe for showing off. Start with Jenny O Turkey Store Lean Ground Turkey. Set mood to taste. Cover and... Keep cool, of course. Prepare to impress future in-laws. In-laws? On in. Enter the Jenny O Turkey Store Lifestyle Challenge and you could win $25,000. Visit JennyOTurkeyStore.com for details. People who love their pets this much save with the Petco Pals card. Buy any 8-pound bag of Natural Choice Complete Care cat food and get three 3-ounce three pouches free. Petco. Where the pets go. Tigers. Owned by a doctor found dead. What neighbors saw at 10. King of Queens. Normally seen at this time. Will return next week. <laughs> Welcome to the 218th presentation of the Hallmark Hall of Fame series. Tonight, a compelling story of reconciliation between three generations of women, the Blackwater Lightship. Two-time Oscar winner Diane Wiest and three-time Oscar nominee Angela Lansbury. No, it's the first gear that's got me flummoxed. After years apart, three generations of women will struggle. I would have loved a daughter who cared. Because the new daughter you need them. Stop it, the two of you. And make up. To become a family again. I made a promise to do my best. Now on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. The Hallmark Hall of Fame is brought to you by Hallmark Cards of Kansas City.
and the fine stores in your neighborhood that feature Hallmark products. Hallmark, when you care enough to send the very best. We'll return in a moment to the Blackwater Lightship, this evening's presentation on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. So, what you're saying is you think your husband works too much. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you want to tell me about that? Well, I'd like to see him slow down. You know? All right. Smell the roses. Yes. So, what would you recommend I do? Well, let me ask. You still happy in your marriage? Yes. Very. You still find him attractive? Yes, he's very good looking and smart and a good husband. Could it just be possible that this great husband... Good husband. Good husband of yours is just trying Get to... ahead. But does that mean he has to work on weekends? Does that mean he has to work on his birthday? Today in the midst of your busy life, take a moment to sit back and relax. May you realize what a gift your life is to all the people who know you. Happy birthday. Well, um, looks like our time's up for today. <laughs> The Hallmark Hall of Fame continues with The Blackwater Lightship, starring Diane Wiest and Angela Lansbury. The Blackwater Lightship will resume on the Hallmark Hall of Fame after these messages from Hallmark. You know, Marcy, uh, I just have to tell you that uh, whenever I look at you, you take my breath away. I, I don't know what it is. It's like I can barely breathe, you know? Like... Like, ever since we started going out, it's like I'm, I'm gasping for air, you know? Like, it's, it's more of a, mm, a choking. It's kind of a choking oh. thing. Like, there's a big hunk of red meat in my passage, and I'm, I'm trying to breathe. I can't, though, because there's a, I'm choking on this meat, this <clears throat> no flow of air. <laughs> I, I guess what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is uh, Marcy, that... You really, you really, um... What? Really, really make me gag. I make you gag? Well, not gag in a bad way, gag oh. in, in a good way. Oh. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Uh, no. No. Not really. No. no. <laughs> Is that for me? I wish I could collect the perfect words, put them in your hands, and close your fingers around them, so you can know how truly I love you. Joe? Yeah? Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I tried. I mean, because I feel the same way. You do? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's like every time I wanted to tell you, my throat would kind of tighten up, like somebody was sucking oxygen right out of me, and I'd start wheezing and coughing and wheezing and coughing, like something was caught in the middle of my throat. Except this was no little thing, it was really big, you know, like the world's biggest fur ball was stuck in my throat and I couldn't get it out. And it... Davis, please report to the principal's office. Lauren Davis, please report to the principal's office. Come in, Laura. Close the door and sit down. Be with you in a minute. Look, uh, Miss Reed, I didn't, I didn't do nothing. Anything, Laura. Whatever. I, I didn't do it. I've been playing it straight since the last time I got in trouble, I swear. 
Laura. I haven't been teaching class. I'm not hanging out with those guys no more. I even went to see that counselor lady you told me about. I know. The only reason I asked you to come down here is because yesterday... Yesterday I had to watch my sister while my grandma went to the doctor and I already told Mr. Ball and I already gave him a note. And now he's getting me all in trouble with you again. See, even when I try to do right by you, it just... It all gets messed up. Nothing is messed up, Laura. The reason I asked you to come down here is... Here. This is it? Mm-hmm. Close the door, Laura. Now back to the Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation of the Blackwater Lightship with Diane Wiest and Angela Lansbury. The Hallmark Hall of Fame will return after these messages from CBS and your local station. Joan Girardi is an ordinary teen, except she talks to God. Remember me? What if God was one of us? She never knows what God will look like or how he'll help Joan change people's lives. I'm glad he came by. See why Joan of Arcadia's ratings soar and why everybody is talking about the best new show this season. You have no idea how cool this is. Just trying to make his way home. A new Joan of Arcadia, CBS Friday. The competition heats up. We challenge you. A new Star Search Live, CBS Saturday. Don't miss the surprise opening of The Friends. Then catch Beyonce. Plus special appearances by Britney Spears, Sting, Celine Dion, Alicia Keys, Dave Matthews, Christina Aguilera, The Return of Earth, Wind & Fire, Aerosmith, Madonna, music legend Prince, Outkast, and an all-star tribute to The Beatles. Performances you can't see anywhere else will never see again. The Grammys, live Sunday on CBS. February 15th, when their marriage hits a dead end. You're the one that insisted we don't need lawyers. Well, why make it ugly? They'll take one last road trip to sort things out. Start up the divorce mobile. Hate it when you want. And I hate it when you breathe. But an unexpected detour. To prevent hypothermia, we should sleep together naked. Okay. May just give them a second chance at love. Marry me. We are married. Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen in a world premiere movie, It Must Be Love, CBS February 15th. When the all-star survivors first arrived on the island, they faced no food. We're starving all there. No fire and no drinkable water. Our tongues had turned white. We were dying of thirst. Thursday on a new episode. Come on, Rudy. The challenges are so tough. Let's go! Let's go! Damn it! Even the best of the best... Rudy's not doing okay. ...are breaking down. I'm hanging on by a thread right now. It's killing me to be here. Don't miss a new Survivor All-Stars episode. CBS Thursday. Tonight at 10. Hot on the money trail. This week in Reality Check, the Minnesotans pouring big bucks into this year's elections. Who's giving the most money and who's getting it? Tonight at 10. On the next Dr. Phil Family. My hurt has turned into full-on rage. Can this marriage be saved? I'm at the door with my hand on the knob. Next Dr. Phil. Tomorrow at 3 on WCCO4. When winter throws you a curve, throw it back in the V8-powered Mercury Grand Marquis with all-speed traction control to help bite into deep snow, a five-star safety rating, standard anti-lock brakes, a roomier interior that beats LeSabre cold, and a price to chill the competition. Now around $18,787 on Mercury Grand Marquis, number one in owner loyalty. See your local Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Have you been putting off making updates to your home? Well, this is one time procrastination has worked in your favor. It's Herberger's semi-annual home sale, where you'll find great prices on dishes, cookware, bedding, bathroom accessories, and more. Get what you want now, and put off paying for it with no payment, no down payment, and no interest for an entire year when you make a home store purchase of $300 or more. The semi-annual home sale ends Wednesday, February 18th. 
so no more procrastinating. Come to the right place, Herberger's. You've waited all winter for this one. Now it's time to reward yourself at Ribnick's end of the season clearance sale. Now through Monday, save up to 70% on the largest collection of fur, leather, and shearling in the Midwest. This is your opportunity to purchase a new coat at the lowest prices of the season from Ribnick Fur and Leather, where style, selection, and savings all come together. At 10. Exotic animals owned by a doctor dead on a Minnesota farm. What neighbors saw tonight. Then Hockey made her do it. Why a state trooper could wind up in jail. And the testimony that could send Martha to prison. Here comes more snow. Will it be enough to shovel and plow? Find out tonight. Plus another jump at the pump. What's up with that tonight at 10? She's got Super Bowl winning coach Bill Belichick in a John Edwards top 10 tonight. And now we continue with the Blackwater Lightship. This evening's production on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. The Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation of the Blackwater Lightship will continue after these messages from Hallmark. We're not moving. I don't think that's going to work. Hello? Whoa. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, just a little surprised. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday. Hey. Happy birthday. Is it from a friend? Yeah, Bonnie Dolan. She used to be my best friend. What do you mean, used to be? Yeah, what happened? You really want to know, huh? Sure. I'm not going anywhere. She had a career. I had a baby. We wrote for a while, but it was my turn and... Broke the chain, huh? Yeah. We had a friend like that. We worked together straight out of college, and we completely lost touch. That's like an old neighbor, Gloria DeLuca. I wonder where she is today. I don't have any friends. Oh, now you're kidding, right? Yeah. Doug Porter, college roommate, played ball together. He was right in town. You ever see him? Did well, read it. Come on, Mom. Come on. Read the card. Read it. There's no secrets here. Okay. There is common ground that kindred spirits walk. Shared thoughts that forever bind their souls. You and I are friends for all time. It's been way too long. Happy birthday. Love, Bonnie. That's beautiful. Read it again. You folks okay? Uh, could you give us a minute, please? Uh, yeah, sh sure. Read that part again. There is common ground that kindred spirits walk. Shared thoughts that forever bind their souls. Hi, Mom! Oh, Hi! Hi! Is your car on the floor? No. Can I go over to Lee's house? Do you have any homework? Yeah. After you finish it, you can go. Cool. Did you turn in your milk, buddy? Yeah. Max, what's this? Did Amy move my lunar module? Max. Something from Mrs. Bennett. What'd she give you a card for? Because I was nice to somebody. Who were you nice to? Scott. Who's Scott? The boy who comes to school just once in a while because he's sick. Was he at the school play? No. Can we get an armadillo? How were you nice to him? Well... Mrs. Bennett always has me sit next to him. Scott can't go off for recess and stuff, so I stay in and play Ashi with him. I didn't know you were doing that. I like him. It's no big deal. I think it might be a big deal. Can I see your card? Sure. You didn't have to do what you did. That's what made it so special. Max, do you know what this means? Kinda. 
means you should be very proud of yourself. I know I am. Mom? Yeah. He's pushing me. Tonight's Hallmark Hall of Fame continues with the Blackwater Lightship, starring Diane Wiest and Angela Lansbury. In a moment, the conclusion of the Blackwater Lightship, this evening's special presentation on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. We're headed to Rossi's. You want to go? Oh, I can't tonight. I'm going to my brother's. Yeah? Yeah, he just moved out of our parents' house. Is that right? Well, I remember the day I moved out. How old is he? 34. 34? Yeah. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, then. See ya. Hey, Dave. Hi, Trish. <laughs> Come on in. Can you show me around? Sure. This is my living room. Great. And <laughs> this is my TV. And down the hall. This is my bedroom. This is neat. And this is my kitchen. What are you cooking over there? Oh, I'm making vegetable soup. Oh, that looks good. Hungry? I'm always hungry. It looks good. I have something for you. Thanks. Let me take a look at it. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too, Trish. Professor Foley? Yes? You wouldn't remember me. My name is Beth Hooper. I was a student of yours uh, a while ago. My apologies. I hope I didn't ruin your entire life. No. No. In fact, I always wanted to come back and tell you... Well, I... I, I heard you were retiring, so I... Cooper, I... where do you stand on bonsai trees? Bonsai trees. I was thinking I might start raising bonsai trees now. Oh. Well, anyway, I just came by to, to give you something. Of course, my father always wanted me to be a physician. I'll never find my glasses in all of this. I'm afraid you're going to have to do the honors. Who in their life hasn't planted a seed just hoping that somehow something would grow? You may not remember all the things that you've done, but everywhere around you, seeds are growing and people are blooming. I know. I'm one of them. Birth order and early childhood development. That's right. That was, that was me. That was my paper. Good work, Hooper. Thank you. So, Hooper, what did you grow up to be? Investment banker? Internet guru? No. I'm a teacher. And now the conclusion of the Blackwater Lightship. Tonight's presentation on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation, The Blackwater Lightship. Join us again on Sunday, April 25th for Plain Song, starring Aidan Gwynn and Rachel Griffiths. Sunday, April 25th on CBS. You can also get the great love stories and other favorite movies from the Hallmark Hall of Fame on video and DVD at your Hallmark Gold Crown store. For more information, visit us at hallmark.com or call 1-800-HALLMARK. Hallmark, when you care enough to send the very best.
10. Exotic animals owned by a doctor dead on a Minnesota farm. What neighbors saw tonight. Then hockey made her do it. Why a state trooper could wind up in jail next. Tonight, Dave's got Super Bowl winning coach, Bill Belichick. What about uh, the Janet uh, Jackson thing? We didn't see it. We were in the yeah. locker room. We, we missed that. Nobody kept us abreast of it. <laughs> Plus, Cindy Crawford and Senator John Edwards with the top ten things never said by a presidential candidate. Lady, that is one ugly baby. <laughs> Tonight, then catch Craig. Thursday, a bounty hunter goes missing. I know her. Worked a couple of cases together. Now, this agent not only has to find her. Now we have two of her callers that claim she's dirty. I'm inclined to give the people I work with the benefit of the doubt. He's got to defend her innocence. You gonna shoot me? I am seriously considering it. A new Without a Trace, Thursday after CSI. CBS Friday. The accused would please eyes. The World Court charges America's top leaders with war crimes. Now, JAG's biggest case carries the greatest risk. If we lose, we will be branded an outlaw nation by the entire civilized world. Don't miss the first of four new JAGs in February. No guts, no glory. CBS Friday. You know, the usual junk, junk, card for my mom, I won a million dollars, blah, 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 and then my quest bell. Well, we've made some big changes at Quest, and people are noticing. Long distance is now just five cents a minute with any calls over 20 bucks a month on us. We've got great new local packages, too. Did you check the mail? Oh. I did. So your bill could actually be good news. How cool is that? Come to Mama. What's going on here? We like to call it our spirit of service in action. 